This man thought he met the woman of his dreams. He said one morning he woke up. He's looking for babe. Babe, are you home? He couldn't hear her. So he said he went outside. He saw all the way down the street. He started calling out to her. He started running towards her. And then when she saw him coming, she started running off. A bystander saw what's going on. He calls the police. Little did you know, when the cops showed up, she was in the corner in the bushes like this. The officer said, ma'am, are you all right? She did. Hush! She almost took his hand off. The officer didn't know what he was walking into. He thought he was rescuing the victim. But little did he know that she was the suspect. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about this video here in the comments. And with that said, let's get into this one. On March 30th, 2022, deputies responded to a call stating a man and a woman were yelling at each other. But as deputies brazenly enter the scene, they never expected what happens next. It's a guy wearing a green shield box. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Watch her, watch her. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I ain't do nothing. Ma'am, get on the ground right now. Get on the ground. Don't touch me. No, you deal with that. You call. Do not me. What is the matter with you? I have a stroke. I don't care. You don't bite. Whatever. Put your hand behind your back right now. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I don't, I don't want to be with you, bro. I don't want to be with you. You did that yourself. You hurt me, bro. You hurt me, bro. I had to run from you. I had to run in the woods to get away from you, bro. The woods. The woods. Can't do the same. To get away from me. Why you did this? It's over. It's over. Do the same. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. That's it. That's it. Roll over. Roll over. Over units are gonna come right. Me, bro. You don't try to bite me. I am trying to bite you. You did. No, I didn't. You. I didn't try to bite you. It's all on camera. Bro, that's it. I don't care. Bro, just get me away from him, bro. That's it, bro. That's it. Oh, go to hell, bro. I get away from you, bro. Stay away from me, bro. Turn around for me. Can you take me to jail, please? Yeah. Yeah. Take me Don't worry, jail. we're getting there. Because he. Ma'am, do you need rescue? No, I can't move my left hand, but don't worry about it because I have no nerves, okay? What? Okay, that's I'm Just asking. Do you need rescue? Jail. And I don't want him nowhere near me, you understand? Yes, ma'am. Nowhere near okay. me, bro. Explain. I swear to God. All right, can no. you stand up for me? I can. Okay. Where do you need me to grab you from? Right here? I, Ready? Here. I got warrants in Monroe County. You do? Okay. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I got warrants in Monroe County. Can you fix my shirt, please? Yes, ma'am. Please fix my shirt. Stay the away from me. After $9,000 of debt, bro, I am happy, bro. That is it, bro. In the midst of Courtney's screaming, she'd broadly explain the puzzling situation to authorities. However, the now ex-boyfriend, Earl, recounted a different story. So someone isn't being truthful here, and cops were determined to get to the bottom of it. I I want assault charges against him. That's it. I want assault charges. I had to get in the woods. Okay, ma'am, stop yelling right now. You just spit in my eye. It's not my problem. If it is my problem. If you have what? something, I'm going to be extremely upset. I don't have nothing, okay? I've, I, I, the man over there in the motorcycle right there will tell you that I was running from him for two hours. All right, can you stop yelling? No, I will not stop yelling. I've been trying to get away from this. Is like, a Blessing, bro. You saw me running from him, right? You saw me running from him, right? That man right there will okay, tell you. Okay, that's regard. We're, we're done. He will tell you. I saw him running from me. I've been running from him for two hours, bro. Do you have anything on? He's going to poke or stick me or anything no. like that. You, you saw you. me, right? Yeah, you told me to poke. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, you took it up while she was warning. That mother warning. I ain't touch her. You and that ain't touch her. Now I was chasing her. Let's see what she was at. Go to the car, Bosman. Yeah. It's Courtney, right? So is there any reason why you try to bite me in my hand? No. I no. want to get, I was in the woods you know, trying to get away from him. You okay? You bit me, right? I barely touched you. Don't even start that What is that? I barely touched you. What is you. that? I barely, don't even start that.
that bro don't even start that please don't even start that okay i've been running for him for two hours that man and, that has, I, listen, and if it wasn't listen, for that man no you listen if it wasn't for that man i would be disorderly conduct no no i told him to call a cop all right stop I was, no stop no all right come on I'm a pretty good judge of these type of individuals. She, from the beginning, has been acting very hostile. Everything is about what the man did, what the man did, what the man did, and she is the victim. But for some odd reason, she is acting very, and I mean very, hostile. Angry, screaming in the cop's face. Apparently she bite the cup on his knuckles from what he was showing. Spitting in his face, would not calm down. I have a slight feeling She's not as innocent as she's painting this picture to be. Also, we have an um, we have a bystander who apparently called the police and apparently saw everything that happened. Hopefully, we get to talk to that bystander so we can get a little more understanding of what really happened. Because I have a feeling that she is lying. We're going to the car. I had a stroke on this side. Go ahead, I'll sue the county. I don't give a. Bro. All right, but you try to bite me, so it's all good. I try to bite you, you hit me. I did not hit you. Where's your camera? You sure right you didn't hit me? You yeah, sure you? I'm positive. Yeah. Can you, like, I can't have this hand like this. I had, Come on, get in the car. I cannot. I, am, I had multiple strokes. Sit inside the car. I have rescue on the way. Sit in the car. I want to wait for Sit. them out here. You're spitting at me right I now. I am not spitting you at you. You are spitting on me right I now. I had a stroke. Sit in the car. No. Wow. Do you want to get tased? Go ahead, tase me. See Sit what in the car. Prison. You're still spitting my face. Try me, dog. Get she said, dog. Yep. Definitely the instigator right here. She's not innocent. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is she wearing? Ma'am, who clothes did you steal? Your little sister, your little cousin, your friend's sister or cousin. Who clothes did you steal? Hmm? She says she had multiple strokes. That don't look like someone who had multiple strokes. And ma'am, you better not be lying and playing around because I lost a good friend of mine. How many years ago, Kendall? Yeah, like 14 years ago. He was a father, good father of two beautiful young kids. He had multiple strokes back to back at the age of 26 and died. Stroke is not something to play with. We're trying to use a stroke as a get out of jail card. Because she had a stroke, she was she gonna sue. How are you gonna sue because of what you had? That's your own health issues, man. She better not be playing on with the stroke stuff, because stroke is nothing to be played with. Alright? Ain't a joke, it ain't a game. How huh? people actually lose their life. I'm sick of individuals doing stuff like this. Get inside the car! No! Get in the car! No! No! You're gonna get tased. Go ahead, do it. Taser, your taser. You're still spinning. I will go to the hospital. No! I had multiple strokes in the hospital. Okay, that's Tase good. me, bitch! I Try am... me! Tase me! Tase me! Tase me! Go ahead! Go ahead! Sorry, I can't advise. Rescue on a spit mask. Go ahead! Get in the car! No! Get in the car! No! Hold up! I had a stroke! Okay, well, get in the car! Thank you, sir. Shut off mid-sentence. I can't get enough of that when they do stuff like that. And uh, you know, you guys notice one thing, right? She said he was chasing her. He put hands on her. He did stuff to her. Why is it that she is now acting like the hostile suspect? I don't understand this. That's why I said, why is she acting out like this? That means she's not telling the truth. Because if you was a victim, why are you not Acting like a victim. All f over me. Spit in my eye, bit me in my hand. She says she has warrants. What do we have with him so far? Nothing. She said, right. she said he found out that she was wanted and he was going to call the cops and she started running away. All right. As officers haven't caught a moment's break once throughout this encounter, they still don't know what has happened. However, once securing Courtney, authorities will speak with the witness to gain more clarity on the case. I was sitting over there at the dumpster eating peanuts on my motorcycle and she came by and she goes, a man's chasing me, don't tell him I'm going in the woods. And I'm like, he sees you. So you never saw him do anything? I never saw him touch her. Okay. But she was running for her fucking life. Okay. And she asked me to call the cops. My phone was dead. So I went in the store and asked them to call. And I didn't see him touch. She ran through the woods all through there. He went that way. You know what I mean? But I never saw him touch her. 
Fuck they me. were far away, you know what I mean? But yeah. she was running for her life, trust me. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, run him. Mm -hmm. If we have nothing on him, he's free to go. Yeah. We'll run her, but she's going for battery on Leo and resisting with. Bro, what's with all the girls trying to bite my hand? Wow. She bit me in the hand. Um, he was witnessing the female freaking out because she says she has warrants out of the county. The guy we have in here, after we got him detained, we found out he really has nothing to do with it. He was just trying to calm her down. Mm -hmm. But obviously we see him all upset. Over here, she was run through the woods. We come up, both draw down. He got on the ground, she started getting upset with me, tried to detain her. She pulled away from me. I bring her, escort her down to the ground. She grabs a, a little nip of my, my top of my knuckle. You broke the skin? No, but you see it's all red. With both the witness and officers having not witnessed a man commit any harm to Courtney, he'd be free from charges. But as the man is still fearful of facing charges for a crime he didn't commit, he then explained his side of the story to authorities. Yeah. Excuse me. Huh? Dog, this girl had warrants. I know, we were in the information I was right now. I was chasing I, her. I know, look, Down. So we were in the information right I now. I did not touch All right. her nothing. Okay. All right. And this man was on a bike. Listen. She ran a wood because the police was coming. I know. She was running from the we, police. We were in the information right now. Yes. All right. And we're that's why. Everything. All right. She knew and now she's trying to say, All right. I did I not put my hands on her. I walked around here. She jumped out the wood because she knew that she was mourning. Okay. And I was one dead her coming out my whole life. Right. She walked in the woods, went in the woods, this man was on the mud, like I said, where the girl went. She ran in the woods because she knows she always was wanting. Right. She didn't want the police called or nothing. And you okay. can see. Alright. We're running, we're running it right to. now. We make yeah. it Sorry, I gotta say, Earl. I'm sorry. Y'all were playing with paintball guns out there in the forest? <laughs> I had to say it, man. I, I had to say it. But shout to Earl, though, for cooperating. You know, being understanding. Because he knows. You heard what he said. He doesn't want any unnecessary charges on him for something that he did not do. And she's putting all the blame on him. And this reminds me of the, um, you guys remember Jonathan, um, I guess, uh, Majors? You guys remember his situation, right? When he had to go to court in New York City, apparently for a domestic dispute where he barely did anything to the individual. A lot of black women were in the comments saying, that's what you get. You sell out. That's what you get for going to the white woman. I'm talking all a bunch of nonsense. Making it seem like, like a black woman would never call the cops on a black man. Delusional. Most black men that got arrested is from a black woman calling the cops on her boyfriend or baby daddy. That is the truth. But they make it seem like no black woman will ever get her man or get another black man arrested. I can't stand when I see stuff like that. A lot of black men are in the court system for child support. Who you think put them there? Exactly. And look at this man. He did nothing wrong. And she making sure that he did the worst of the worst to her. And look at them that um, bystanders saw everything that happened. Otherwise, he might have been in jail for something that he never did. See what I'm saying? Sure, right? Once Earl calmly, but in a frantic tone, quite understandably, explained his side of the story, cops would return to Courtney, where she'd recount a very different set of events. How are you doing? Not what? good. What? He was following me. He was not me. I, I tried to get away from him. Away from him. That's why I was in the woods trying to get away from him. He's following me. And you asked that man that was standing there. I asked that man to call the police. He, he was following me. He punched me. And McDonald's. <laughs> I was trying to get away from him because that's all he does is beat me for no reason. I was getting away from him. Courtney, sorry, you a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard what she said, guys. The key word that we always hear. But somehow when they mention that key word, they always guilty. No reason. Nah, man. Nah, you lying. You a liar. Plus, the witness already said he didn't see that man do anything to you. He said that man said like he was concerned about you. She is a li I'm still lying. Do you know him? Yes, I do know him. I've been dating him for the last year and a half, but he would not stop. Yeah. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm mind my business. And it's you says that I bit him. I didn't touch this. I promise you, I didn't touch your ass. If I wanted to bite you, you would remember. You would remember. I promise you, you would remember. 
had a stroke in my left hand side. I can't have my arm like this. Okay. I had a stroke. Okay. Uh, it's hurting me. Are you fine right now? No, I'm not. You you look fine to me. I don't. That's nice. That's nice. Did you have a stroke? Okay. Did you have a stroke? No. I mean, you did it, right? So what? 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 Why is he following you? Because I left where he was. Where you guys were at before? We were at my friend's house. Where's that at? I'm not gonna give that. Courtney's demeanor throughout the entire interaction appears deceitful and disingenuous. And authorities recognized this, so they'd head back to Earl to release him without further incident. Yeah! Right, sir, step out the car. Go say what happened. I ain't gonna lie to you. She ran in the woods, she knew she was Listen. wanting, Listen. and she tried to get Listen. me caught up. I understand. And I but I'm just straight up. I've been my whole when, life. When we get a call, people just run around, we don't know what we got. I know, a bike call. Understood. But she ran in the woods, she knew she was no. wanting, she tried to say, oh, I did all yeah, this. She, she's going for she's the warrants. She's telling her she had for once. She called me. I was walking down here, and I said, well, you got once. You doing all this. She told me, F you. I'm not you. Okay. started with let's, me. Let's get the handcuffs The off man here. was in the bike, and the man said, let her be. She right. had one. Turn around, face that way. I can take off the handcuffs. No, you did it yourself. You, you, you called that. You call that. You want to be that? You want to be a jail? No, don't call Earl now. I love you, but you did it. Earl, d d don't do this, Earl. How you going to stand there now, Earl? I still see a lot of this woman. She literally tried to get you in jail, tried to get you arrested, tried to throw you in the system, have them lock the doors and throw away the key. She tried to do you dirty, bro. You can't stand there now and be like, I love you. Maybe this is the straw that broke the camel's back because you see him walking that direction. He tried not to look back. Earl, don't look back. You heard what she said. You said it out your own mouth. She said, Fuck you, Earl. Yeah, that's not someone that love you. You try to put me in jail. You crazy. Courtney had warrants and Earl knew it. When the cops arrived, she'd falsely claimed that Earl abused her to prevent him from reporting her. Courtney's plan to get Earl arrested along with her failed, and she ended up facing the consequences alone, then denying any wrongdoing. Ma'am, I'm gonna put you in that car, okay? I want you to be nice. What do you mean be nice? I don't want you biting, I don't want you spitting at anybody. I didn't bite anybody or spit at anybody. No, I don't wanna hear that. Uh, I never did that, so don't even start that. Okay? We're gonna put you in the car. I don't care what you say because I didn't do anything like that. So don't even ask me that. I didn't spit or bite on anybody. I don't give a f bro. Like, forget it. I don't even care, bro. I don't even care. I wanna go to the hospital. I have, no, I had a stroke on this. I wanna go to the hospital. And pull your damn pants up. Grown with you kids these days. In the car. I want medical attention. I want medical attention! Get in the car. Sit down. Medical attention? You need a straight jacket, ma'am. You need to strap you up. You need to be in a 4x4 four four wall with the pads on them. Oh, hell no. How you have a stroke and you that hostile? Hmm? Despicable. Yeah, that's right. Fold up. Yeah, oh, racial slurs, huh? another charge if you break it. You want to use that one? We'll try it. All right, let's go. What is the problem? You're not going to try that. What the hell did you just say? Seven? I'm pretty sure she said four. Now it's seven? You had seven strokes. And you're still here in top physical shape. Well, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> she's really taking this stroke thing seriously. Ma'am, stop. You're putting a little jinx on yourself. Be careful. Go ahead, I'm sorry, city. Go ahead, I want a ambulance. I want to go to the hospital. Hey. I feel like I'm having one. Put a hob on her. No. Away from right. yeah, 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 yeah. Tie her. Yeah, I got metal in my brain, bro. Don't touch me. I want to go to the hospital. Don't touch me. 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 Don
okay. Yeah, enough of okay. this. That's okay. Go ahead. When this Damn. Happens, we all gonna get a monster. I don't give a Poor Earl. Earl, what you were putting up do? with this? What is that gonna do? You know how much foreplay I had in my life? Hurt yourself. You. What you, I don't wanna hurt yourself with your rookie f badge and your rookie f uniform. Listen to this. Nasty. Just take me to the hell, bro. Just take me to the hell, bro. I ain't worried about it, bro. What a hateful individual. Okay, and I got a bell bond. The same thing you let me go, go and see me. You don't know what the fuck you doing. You don't know what the fuck you doing. Yeah, you don't got to take it off because you don't know what the fuck you doing, bro. I'll take it off for you. With Courtney's deceitful tactic of stating she's had a stroke, impossible attempts to garner sympathy didn't work, she'd resort to claiming to be having a stroke and a seizure instead. I'm having a stroke on this side, that ain't funny. I'm having a stroke on the, yeah, yeah, on this side, I'm having a seizure on this side. That is not funny, okay? Having a seizure on one side? That side is moving and it shouldn't be moving. Don't touch me, you Ask me a question. I don't give a uh, I, oh, shit. Put the window down. Put the I window down. The Where's the spray at? Put the window down. Go ahead. Go ahead. Spray me. See what happened. Oh, look at that. That's foreplay for me, Bobby. You don't even know. So what is this? Sign. Yeah, okay. You. You. You stupid. Not going to reach. All racial slurs. Golly. Oh, we got a medical degree. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off, right? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Despite her best efforts, Courtney was arrested and charged with resisting arrest with violence, resisting arrest without violence, battery on a law enforcement officer, and criminal mischief. The latter charge was a result of Courtney intentionally breaking a $200 hobble restraint device. Her bail was set at $30,000. Guilty. Six months house arrest. What? Thirty thousand dollars. For what those cops just went through, that should have been like a hundred thousand dollars. Earl, my boy Earl, you better not put up any amount of money for her bail. None, zero, none. You hear me, Earl? Earl, did you hear me? Wow! Look what them cops had to put up. I can only imagine what Earl was putting up with. Uh, ain't no way. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it for one hour. Not even five minutes. Shit, that's off the wall. Man, you really got to be careful who you lay up with, man. And who you invite in your house. Who you live with. That's a big decision to make. You better really think hard before living with someone. Make sure you know it everything about them emotionally mentally physically everything man such a hateful person disrespectful and hostile and angry man you need anger management you can't have a civilized conversation and you talking about stroke 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 like it's a joke you know people lost their lives from having a stroke i told you guys the story about my friend in the video Yes, he had four strokes back to back. Lost his life at a young age, 26. She always did make it fun like it's a joke. So if it wasn't for that bystander that was standing there, Earl might have ended up in jail. See what I'm saying? How dangerous some people can be. Earl, she's like a humble dude. You know, down to her dude, chill dude. And then you got this right here. All it takes is when you invite that wrong one individual into your life. And it could turn your whole world upside down. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what you guys think about this video here in the comments. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.